welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to break down the Raya and the Last Dragon teaser trailer. Now if you saw my reaction you would know that I absolutely loved it and I'm so excited to share my detailed thoughts with you today. Before I begin I just want to clarify that I am not Southeast Asian. I know shocking. So if you are Southeast Asian, let me know in the comments down below if you notice something that flies over my head. But without further ado, let's get into it. The beginning of this trailer opens up with the Disney logo, but instead of the traditional castle, they have the Dragon Temple on a mountain with a hole in it. We previously saw this building in a promotional image for the film, and after doing some research, I have discovered that natural arches like this are found within Asia. It looks very similar to Moon Hill in China. I know that's not Southeast Asia, but I can't ignore the similarity. Next is an image of our new Disney princess, Raya. And because it is 2020, she is wearing a mask. She's not an adult in this sequence, and I think she's probably aged between 11 and 13. Next, Raya opens up a closet which is filled with weapons. In the center are two bamboo sticks, which she ends up selecting. I believe that these are Arnie sticks. Arnie's is a martial arts sport done in the Philippines, so it totally checks out. Next, we have a sequence of Raya getting ready for battle, putting on her warrior outfit. I can't help but notice that her outfit looks very similar to Korra from The Legend of Korra. Now, this is not the first time that Disney has copied Avatar, with Frozen 2 containing the same elements of water, earth, fire, and air. Honestly, at this rate, it's only a matter of time before Avatar sues Disney. Next, we have a couple of images of Raya traveling through a building, which I believe is the Dragon Temple seen at the beginning of the trailer. This hallway here was seen in the D23 Expo footage. In this footage, Raya was traveling down this hallway, trying to be quiet, holding the flaming torch that you see in the trailer. She was with a young boy, presumably her brother, who was being very disruptive. This next section gives me major Indiana Jones vibes. Raya feels the inscriptions on the wall, takes up her mask, and looks down the hallway at a vaulted door. Suddenly a net trap appears, blocking Raya from getting to the door. But she does a backward roll to avoid it, like an absolute pro. She then says, clever, and her tone implies that this might be a training exercise. She seems impressed, but not overly concerned. Next we see the shining star of this trailer, Baby Tuk Tuk. I love him so much. Aussie Rum informed me in the comments of a previous video that Tuk Tuk is named after taxi-like vehicles in Thailand. This is perfect as Tuk Tuk is Raya's transportation. He rolls under the nets but gets briefly distracted by a bug. Raya tells him to focus and although this is a brief moment, I think it really reveals what kind of character Raya will be. I think she's going to be a very hard-working character, liking to be in charge and in control of situations. Basically an Enneagram Type 1. I'm Type 1, so I think I'm gonna like her. Tuk Tuk eventually reaches the door and Raya tells him to give her some shell, and it was so cute I almost stopped breathing. Raya then uses her sticks to open the door, and Disney reminds us that they created Moana and Frozen, and I thank them for that. Also, I have some news about Moana which I'm going to share in my next video, so stay tuned. Next, Raya is walking up some stairs with water, but weirdly, instead of flowing down the stairs because of, you know, gravity, it is flowing upstream towards the Dragon Gem. As I said in my video about the Japanese poster, I believe that this is the Dragon Gem that corresponds with the Water Dragon Sisu. This is because it is blue, the colour of water. It also kind of reminds me of the Moonstone from Tangled the Series. If you haven't seen Tangled the Series yet, you totally should. It's amazing. But before Raya can get to the Dragon Gem, she is stopped by a man wearing a very scary mask. Now I think that this guy could be one of two people. Firstly, he could be a villain. We know that the villains of this movie are monsters called the Drun, so he could be one of them. Secondly, he could be Raya's father, the Chief, who is training her to guard the Dragon Gem. I think that this is the more likely option, as this man is of a similar build and height to the man standing next to Raya later in the trailer. As the two fight, there are a couple of different intercutting shots. The first shot is from a desert, which is in stark contrast to the lush greenery surrounding the gem. Raya says that this world has changed, indicating that things are not going well. My theory is that dragons give life to the land, and without them the people have limited resources. In the desert there are people praying, probably to the last dragon to fix their obvious problems. The second shot is of the five tribes of Kumandra. 
These people used to live in harmony with one another, but now they are divided. Each tribe has its own colour and symbol, and some have animals. We have the yellow tribe, whose symbol looks very similar to the heart of Tefiti from Moana, the pink tribe with a symbol that looks similar to a claw, the greenish grey tribe who has elephants, and the white and gold tribe who have wolves. I think that this tribe may be important as it features a young child who looks about the same age as young Raya. I presume that she is the daughter of the chief of this tribe as they have similar styling. We know that this movie has a mystery third female character, so she could be it. But I could be dead wrong. Who knows? And of course, the final tribe is Raya's, and their colour is teal. She is with the chief of the tribe, presumably her father. Next we have some more fighting and another shot of the desert with the adult version of Tuk Tuk rolling Raya to her destination. The third intercutting shot is an image. Now I think that this is a picture of when the dragons sacrificed themselves to save humanity after the land was invaded by the evil monsters called the Drun. The Drun I believe is the purple and black thing because purple is an evil Disney colour. The dragons on the right hand side are destroyed but the dragon on the left has survived along with her dragon gem. This is the last dragon Sisu who was left behind in case the Drun ever reappeared. We then have some fun slow-mo fighting before we see our first shot of the adult version of Raya. And again, she is wearing a mask because she is a responsible person. I absolutely adore her character design and her facial expression. She looks determined but kind of like she's in over her head which is very relatable for me. Next we have a sequence with shards of glass which I presume is the dragon gem. We have Raya in the rain, a dragon charm, and a beautiful shot of Raya's hat. Then the gem breaks into pieces, revealing the logo. We now have a funny bit featuring the love of my life, Tuk Tuk. He is stuck on his back and Raya has to push him back up. She says he's getting a little bit too big for this and he gives the cutest nod I have ever seen. I really appreciated this little bit of comedy as the rest of the trailer was relatively serious. Finally, we have a little tease of the dragons swimming in the water behind the release date of March 2021. I really hope we get to see more of the dragon in the next trailer because I think she's going to be really funny. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this much requested breakdown and if you noticed anything that I didn't, let me know in the comments down below. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe, it would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.